The book Fantasy for the Girls. So that's our book. And then let's really quickly, let's do the stickers first so that way I can get them out of the way. So these are 5D. This technology I actually licensed from Japan. So they're different from our 3D stickers because it's a different technology that she is licensed. So they are a little bit of a different texture. They're almost like a gummy thing. And I love me some bees. Bees are gonna be really trending this year. Very, very chic, very Gucci two years ago. So these are super dope. And then we also have the new one, the butterfly tensor. So they're like 3D, but a little bit different because they're not made out of, um, our regular stickers are made out of almost like a, a picture. These are almost made out of um, like a rubber, I wanna say. It's a proprietary material that I license. And then we have some juicy strawberries for the girls. And then some super cute, this is plump honey. Look at that, you guys, isn't she adorable? Yes, yeah, so you use them the same. But they are going to leave a raised surface on the nail because they do give that 3D effect. But they are just so adorable. And then we launched two of our first stickers that have diamonds on them for the girls. Look at that, you guys. Stickers with diamonds. It's just so easy and so fun not to snatch up the phalanges. Look at that. They have little diamonds and pearls, and it just makes it so much easier, especially if you're not that good at diamond placements. Just stick her on, and she's good to go. To your skin. And I am super excited for our very, very cheeky adult stickers, because you guys know I love me a salute. So this is Rose Tea. Look at that fantasy. Blue Papillon. Man, this music takes me back to like a wedding in Poland in the 80s. Why does it play like the weirdest mixes? This is Pink Papillon with the perfume Fantasy for the Girls. And I wanted to create two butterfly designs like this because a lot of times when we make butterfly stickers, we only want to use the ones that are the full blood, uh, butterfly, not the half one. Or like a weird angle of the butterfly. We, I, so I wanted to make one that has a lot of the butterflies that we like a lot, which is the full, full, uh, full blown effect for the girls. And then this one, look at that, the antique Dutch pottery fantasy for the girls. So pretty. These kind of designs are actually really popular in Russia, so I wanted to bring them to the children. Bring the light a little bit more over for the girls to see. It's like, I don't want to say like Gen Z necessarily, but beigey and just really fun. And then this is a lilac or purple, purple bird cage. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, obsessed. I love the little bird cages and all the little designs because it's like not childlike it's it's cute but it's also very very elegant this is lucky seven for the bad girls that love the casino oh, she came awkward she wants to be on the phalange This is like, I don't know, I feel like it's very like Ikea art. <sighs> like very Swedish contemporary art. I love her. Isn't she dope? Super chic too. These kinds of designs are really popular in Russia. And they actually look really pretty on short nails as well too. Some more very soft, very feminine, very watercolor like purple roses for the fantasy. And these are all on the website already, you guys, too. All of the products that I'll be showing you guys today are on the website. This is smiley um, emojis 
These are uh, actually really popular in Korea. So these are also really good for short phalanges. So it's just, it's really fun, very like 90s, very throwback, but also very, very millennial at the same time. So cute. This one is called Potato. This design is also super popular in the Orient. She's really big in Korea and Japan as well too. It's very for the foodie and all of us. So cute. This one is Clouds, and she's got clouds and stars and twinkles. And also, I wanted to add some warmth and color to it too because the sunsets are very famous here where I live in Arizona. So I just thought it would be fun. Hummingbirds for the tropical fantasy for the girls. Oh, I love it. She's ready for South Beach. West Palm Beach, Florida, she said. Some silhouettes, also another very popular design in Eastern Europe. The sexy silhouettes for the girls for the shadows. And you can do this one like on a clear nail, on a beige nail, and just keep it really simple and just have that sexy silhouette on it. Stunning. Some half butterfly ones for the fantasy. Look at that. So stunning. Each one is different and it just creates such a harmonious design on the phalange. Some pop art stickers because you guys know I love pop art. These are so dope. And again, I apologize you guys if I can't get to every single comment. You know how uh, hard I try. This one is called Personality. This one's one of my favorite styles because you guys know I like the cheeky things. I like the bad girl stickers. Look at her. She is ready. Here, this is Mind Blossom. Also very, like, Swedish contemporary floral art for the fantasy. This is the Shadow Butterfly. Look at that. So you can layer these on top of any color, and that color will come through. Like that. and already has some splots of color just to give you that fantasy it's so pretty this one is called what them lips do look at that super cheeky very like rolling stones meets kylie jenner meets rocky horror picture show is the fantasy some crazy cat fantasy for the girls very european these or the millennial european girls that we have Look at that, she is stunning. This one is very like pink aesthetic, very vapor waves. Super cute. And these are super high quality stickers, you guys. Like, literally, look, they are like a picture on the nail, literally. And with our techniques, and you guys have seen me use them multiple times, they literally melt into the nail. This one's really dope as well, too, because this one is also made with rubber. That's how you can get that really dope, super strong hologram realness for the fantasy. Ooh, this is another one I really like. This is another super cheeky one. And this one is SXX Rules. Because we can't say those words on television. Look at that. Super cheeky. Ugh, I can't wait to do this one. She is just all the bad girls. All together. late we're putting in overtime we just dropped like over 100 new products today so i gotta show the girls the fantasy are you dropping any new 3d ones we dropped 5d ones and i just showed them at the beginning as well too this is a su alien supergirl very fun i got a little australia there too a little aussie all the girls look at how dope she is very millennial very gen z some more tropical fantasies so dope look at that ready to go to the beach some more butterfly. The girls love butterflies, you guys. Lots of flowers, lots of very, very ethereal, very fantasy like lemon juice. Because our first lemons did so so, they did okay. They will uh, be discontinued and they will be replaced by Miss Lemon Juice. And this is very dope. Also, really good, like if you have like a white nail or like a really, really pale yellow or lime green. With that, she is ready. 
some metamorphosis, very metaphysic, but metaphysic butterflies. Look at her. This is a watercolor abstract. This is for the girls that love fantasy and love layering. Because you can put this on, you can put some butterflies, some diamonds, and you're good to go, Mama. You got yourself a five hour full set in like five minutes. Some more fantasy butterflies. Look at that. This one's called Mixed Cream. Because words are really popular in nails now, trust. This one is top models for the fantasy for the girls. Look at that. Look at the quality of these pictures, you guys. Focus camera. This one is called Lying Chaos because she's very fun, this one. She loves the construction, but she's a good girl at times. This one is Summer Neo Geo, also very Eastern European inspired for the summers out in the former Soviet Union. Max, could you make a sticker with a sticker sheet with your face on it? Ooh, I don't know how that would sell. Price, the price is on the website, my love. Look at that, this one, the pink world for the girls. That pink fantasy. This one is Roses or Never. And we really wanted to focus on making stickers that looked beautiful on both short and long nails. And look at this one. This one is called Flossom. So let's put these away for now. And for the girls that were asking about our 3D stickers, we launched our 5D stickers that we licensed the technology from. So they are super dope because they're not made out of like the photo quality paper. These are made almost out of like a rubber silicone. She saw that Morticia in there. She looks like Morticia, she's not Morticia. She's Morticia. The strawberry juice. The fantasy of the butterflies and the bees with the very Gucci garden fantasy. Max, will you make some Sailor Moon stickers? I cannot make anything that is directly um, another uh, IP intellectual property. So I'm gonna build the tea for the girls. So basically, like for example, people that sell Sailor Moon stickers or uh, name brand stickers. Things like of that nature, uh, Hello Kitty, uh, Disney, that are exact replicas of them. More than likely, 99% are not licensed by the company because they're super cheap. If they were licensed by the company, they would be really expensive. Um, so we do not dabble in anything that is not approved by the feds. So one thing is to make something that is inspired or something that looks similar. But to sell the exact same thing, we cannot. That's why we don't sell exactly uh, exact uh, Sailor Moon or Hello Kitty or anything like that. I would love to sell it all, like uh, you know Disney princesses and things like that. And actually, uh, uh, we uh, made one that is very similar to Disney princesses, but legally uh, it's not. So that's how I can sell her, because I don't want to have any problems with Uncle Sam or with Uncle Walt. Because Disney actually spends a lot of time and money scounging the internet looking for people that are using their IP without their permission and they will come after you. So this is Moon. I think, yes, this is Moon. So we have stuff that is inspired by certain IPs, but we don't have anything that is exactly the same. So like in, in regards to like Sailor Moon, I um, I think the lavender anime or the lilac anime sticker is very, very um, inspired by Miss Sailor Moon, all the fantasy. Look at these. These are super high quality mylars, you guys. They will not bleed. Look at that fantasy. Oh, look at that. Children, obsessed. I'm gagging. So this is the moon set. 
because um, eventually we're going to stop selling all of our glitters um, open stock and we're only going to sell the fantasy in sets because I like sets better actually because that way you get the whole story you get the whole fantasy and they've been doing really well actually we were very very lucky the Lord has been very kind to me that the sets have been uh, performing well This is Luna Girl. Ohio Gozaimas. This is Luna Girl. Look at that, you guys. That fantasy. Look at that. She is like shredded. Shredded unicorn tears. At that one. This is Luna Girl. So stunning. Juan, le hablas a mamá que ya venga. This is Moon Crystal. Hi, Bobby. We are working overtime tonight with the over 100 new items that we just launched today. Do you use builder gels for those? Um, it just depends. You can encapsulate them with our acrylic. You can encapsulate them with uh, press-on gel. You can encapsulate them with uh, one of our builder gels. You can pretty much do anything with them. Flash gels back in stock. Uh, flash gel, the original five, are back in stock right now. Especially 147. She sold. She sells out in uh in days at the most right now we manufactured i think fifteen thousand uh bottles of 147 and we're down to about how many did i count earlier today maybe like 2500 so if you want to get them flash gels you better order now my love because they will like that they go this is moon crystal prism powers for the fantasy look at that she is giving me the Scout Sailor fantasy. Kawaii desu ne! Moon Crystal Prism Power! Sailor Moon Inspiration daisuki desu ne! Motto daisuki! Kawaii Fuchsia Pink! Manera! Kawaii desu ne! So cute! Look at that, you guys! Oh, the fantasy! And what's so cool about these is you can layer them on top of other colors and give you that Aurora that bubble fantasy. Nihongo mina, uh, mina san daisuki desu ka? Sugoi desu ne. Some Japanese for the girls. La villa mi. Next is Pegasus. Pegaso. And Pegasus came from the inspiration from uh, Saint Seiya. Mostly Saint Seiya, Pegasus. So she is metallic sequence. She is the metallic fantasy sequence for the girls. Look at that. Look at that metallic fantasy. Come through, Miss Pegasus. Come through, metallic sequence fantasy. So these are great too. Not only can you like do a free edge with them or the whole phalange, but they're also really great to like fill in little gaps. Okay. Look at that. Look at this pink one from Pegasus. Like literally, you guys. This looks up like crushed up molten magic. So beautiful. Look at this one. She's giving me the Mardi Gras vibes. Mardi Gras vibes. Next up is Miss Venus Star. That actually sounds like a drafting. It's inspired by Sailor Venus. And she is the hexagon candy fantasy glitter realness for the children.
Look at that fantasy. And you can mix them all together, use them by themselves. Which one should we? Let's open up the orange, because she's hot. Look at that color, you guys. She is... She's here. And the sets are super affordable. I think they're like $9.99 here in the US. Super affordable. Mmm, so this. Kirie type, matsu type, mixu. Moto variety, this name. Venus Star Rita set. Candy Neon type.